Ken Karsh here. I love the Jamie Ebersole preparatory warm-up studies. I've loved them ever since I became aware of them when I got the free handout when I attended the IAJE, that's the International Association of Jazz Educators, and I took that little free handout and saw the prep exercises in there and I started practicing them. And I thought, this is really cool. Why don't guitar players do this? Because Jamie Ambersold is a sax player. And the thing that's kind of funny about that is um, guitar players, I'm sure, have done them. But this is one guitar player at that point that had not. Basically, what they are are just um, scales and exercises that cover the range of one octave plus a second. And so what it starts with is the chromatic scale, which goes like this. And what I'll be doing is utilizing the, the scale form that's tied in with the cage system. Starting with your second finger, it's the A shape, so it's the A form. So the first one is the chromatic scale. So this goes something like this, and I'll do it slow. Okay, so the next one is going to be what I call the wind-up. It's kind of like, reminds me of a pitcher getting ready to throw the ball in baseball. The wind-up is like these five notes over and over again. So that's what I call the wind-up. Then the scale to the ninth going... then is the triad which is root third and fifth so it sounds like this now the seventh arpeggio that he has written in that Jamie Ebersole has written in his exercise he wrote it in triplets so when I play these exercises I personally like to play them continuously so what I done was I would just uh, do the seventh arpeggio. It ends up, I think, being six times in a row. Four, five, six. You'll see that later on in the video. On the uh, ninth arpeggio. And then the final two exercises are the ninth arpeggio ascending, scale descending. And then the opposite happens, the scale ascending, the ninth arpeggio descending. So when I put that into play continuously, it's going to sound something like this. develop your dexterity, obviously your strength, and it relates the chord tones to the scale tones, incorporates the chromatic scale. I mean, you can't go wrong with them. And so I did it from the second finger. You can also do it from the fourth finger, key of D, and so it looks something like this. It's going to be this.
to start from different fingers. So a good way to practice these exercises is to, we've done the A shape, we've now just done the C shape. Um, we can do the E shape starting here, and the A shape starting from here. So when you're first doing these and just want to get into the groove and whatnot, get, get them under your fingers, it's a good idea to stay in the second position like I'm doing and just run them in those four keys, the key of C, the key of G, the key of D, and the key of A, okay? Now, you can also try to make up your own little warm-ups. Not a bad idea to try to do that. And here's one example of that. So imagine we take the chromatic scale. Gonna extend it a little bit. Okay, we're taking it to the ninth because the scale goes to the ninth. So what I'm gonna do is go ascend chromatically. can happen as well, which is going to go up scale wise to the ninth. I'll demonstrate that one more time. I mean, you can also, you, you know, substitute arpeggios. It kind of starts you playing in a little more boppish way. Up to tempo, it sounds like this. Kind of a mixture though, I'll do that one more time. Well, you can't help but mix it up. So these exercises are just so great for finger, dexterity, strength, ear training, lets you hear the chord tones, the scale tones. So a good thing to do would be to try to utilize these types of exercises in your playing, but play them musically. You should never not, you should always practice musically. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna, I'm gonna so I'm gonna start the uh, backing track again. That's a wind up. That's a wind up with a variation. So if you can try to add these to your, your playing, your improvisation will take some really nice steps forward. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, like my Facebook pages and go to my YouTube channel, comment on it, look at it, like it, and subscribe to it. So thank you very much and I'll play you out of here with a little bit of Jamie Ebersole-like improv. Thank you.